Welcome back, Kate Milo. Well, thank you. <laughs> let's talk about some more rain and where yeah, it is. Yeah, let's talk about more rain. Just what people want to oh, hear as man, we finish out you. a week of rain. Mm. By this time tomorrow, though, we'll be saying, oh, finally. All right, good. So much better. <laughs> tomorrow is the transition day, but we've still got to get through the next 12 hours or That's so. True. And it could get a little dicey out there for just a little bit. There's no more flash flood watch. Currently, no flash flood warnings either. However, we do still have a flood warning for one creek in our area, and there is another round of rain fall coming through before we clear out tomorrow. I want to take you down the shore where it's still looking very wet. This is our camera in Ocean City. That's the boardwalk there, the lights you see, but uh, can't see much of that because it is still raining in Ocean City. The shore was spared for most of the day today and truly most of the day yesterday as well, getting their fair share of rain down there this evening and tonight. Now there's a little break in the action before the next band comes in. That's what you see there over portions of central Pennsylvania. Some reports of heavy rain down across portions of Maryland as well, with these little cells that have popped up. So we're going to have to watch that as that continues to push eastward into portions of Delaware. So while I don't think the overnight hours tonight or anything like last night, the ground is saturated. Creeks and streams are still running high. And even if you add an additional half inch of rain or up to an inch of rain to that those swollen creeks and that already soggy ground, that is going to lead to an exacerbation really of the flooding concerns overnight and into the morning commute. So we will have to keep a very close eye on this. Most of the moisture is starting to lift to the north and west, but you can see that rain down the shore has just shifted off the coast. Light rain in its wake, and you can see a few heavy showers embedded within this band that's moving through central Pennsylvania and trying to head our way before the evening is through. The only warning we have right now is right around the Rancocas Creek near Pemberton and over portions of Burlington County and aerial flood warning. Flooding is still occurring with that excessive runoff from heavy rain. Creeks, streams, roads we saw at the top of the broadcast. Homes were flooded and it looks like the crest will actually happen overnight where that that creek, that branch of the creek may get to near record flood stage before dropping back at least below major flood stage, but that's not until Saturday morning. So those folks are still going to be contending with flooding in those areas even through the day tomorrow. Today in Philadelphia, 2.8 seven inches. We may be adding to that total as well. Yesterday was also a record at 1.76 inches. That's over four and a half inches of rain in the past 24 hours and more falling tonight. But finally, we transition out of this pattern tomorrow. That front clears the area. Tomorrow's a transition day with cool breezes coming in out of the north and west as the high starts to move in behind that storm. And then that high plants itself overhead for the weekend. It'll be a cool, dry pattern with lots of sunshine and seasonable temperatures sunny and comfy after that slow clear during the day tomorrow. Right now, though, it's still very warm and it's very muggy. It's 80 degrees in Philadelphia, still 77 in Wilmington. Definitely a night for the air conditioner. It is sticky outside. We'll drop down to around 70 for the overnight low. Scattered showers, some with locally heavy rainfall. And we will start tomorrow with clouds and a few showers in the morning. So you'll wake up and think, oh, another day of this. By the afternoon, it gets better. The sun comes out cooler, drier, just in time for the start of summer. That's at 1154 AM, and it's almost right on cue, right around 1154 AM that we're going to start to see the skies open up and the sun peak out and things looking a whole lot better. Summer coming in on a very nice note, and it will be welcomed after this week. The weekend is beautiful, and then it's going to feel like summer next week. 90 degrees on Monday at the Wawa logo there because it's the start of Hoagie Fest. <laughs> But you may not want a hot meatball type sub on Monday, 90 degrees. Mm. <laughs> Something cool and refreshing on okay. your hoagie roll on Monday. Good point. Good <laughs> point. Thank you, Kate.